Hi everyone, I'm JD from Willowbound Journals. Welcome back to my channel. This is one of my newest journal collections, the Gumnut Baby Journal Collection, based off a really well-known book in Australia called The Complete Adventures of Snugglepot and Cuddle Pie. In that book, there are actually three, um, three books in one. This is the first one, Snugglepot and Cuddle Pie. This is the second one, A Little Ragged Blossom. And the third book is Little Obelia. And so I remember when I was a kid and I discovered this book, I absolutely loved it and I would just read it in bed. And it was just such a sweet um, story and all about Australian bush and Australian creatures and animals and looking after the bush and looking after the animals and all that kind of thing. And so the Gumnut Babies, this is Snuggle, this is, oh, well, I don't know which one is which, but Snuggle Pot and Cuddle Pie. And here's Little Ragged Blossom, so cute, and Little Obelia. And these ones were set more in the Aussie bush, and this one was set in the ocean. So really, really cute. Um, and they are all already sold. So I wasn't actually sure if they would um, be popular at all, because um, it's a very specific themed journal series. Um, but I just love It's such a sweet book. It's by Mae Gibbs. And then just got a green and gold theme here, so I think coffee dyed um, green and gold papers as well, just so that it can have that Aussie green and gold colour scheme. Gorgeous little postcard, not postcard, envelope and bookmark. And I've used book pages from Snuggle Pot and Cuddle Pie. And I love the vintage look to the pages. And I want to do some more grungier pages here, it's a bit more rustic to represent that bush. Um, here, this is representing a bit of me, the willow. I grew up with a willow tree in my garden, and so willow bud and willow band journals, that's what all of that represents. So a little piece of me, I love these colored illustrations too. These are some notebook pages, and I love the little Aussie flora or fauna there. <laughs> Very cute illustrations, and just some um, interactive elements throughout, some envelopes, glassine bags, for some pockets, index cards, and the bookend pages are so pretty. I love these illustrations. So this is the big one. I did one book cover one, and we've got these first day of issue envelopes with Australian stamps. I have some of these packs in my Etsy too, if anyone is interested, packs of 10, and they're all different. Um, you get 10 different, how cute is that little journal card? 10 different um, first day of issue or um, some of them don't have the stamp but most of them do um, but they're all Aussie themed with the Aussie stamps so cute so I had two books from Snuggle Pot and Cuddle Pie so I used both um, I actually had three one was a bit different it had um, more children's illustration pages color um, and then this one, there's a kangaroo here. There was two of this version, but one had the really brown pages and the other had a, this exact same book, but in white pages. And so the, both of those books had color illustrations too, like this. And so that's what you see here. That's this page is the cover of this one. And then all of these covers I put in the middle pages of the big journal. So I thought that's nice to put the books represented in those and then I chose pages from each book to put into each of these journals here and I love the handwriting type of um, illustration there so that's the big one and they all come with a stamp tag as well an Australian stamp on that so wattle and then we have this one has a bird, this one has the book The Magic Pudding, another well-known book in Australia. And this one I put one of these teal coloured ones to go with the underwater theme, like the ocean theme. So I'll just do a quick flip through of these ones because they're pretty similar. These are the glassine bag size ones and we've got the green and the gold um, pages. This is the other book page or the other book represented in this journal, but the same types of things. Same envelopes with the kangaroo and one with a flower, I believe. And we've got the envelopes, envelopes, pockets, glassine bags, all that sort of thing. And I just love the illustrations in the middle of these particular journals. 
Got the same little note pages with the Aussie flora. Why do I keep saying flora? It's fauna. <laughs> um, they all come with a willow bud paint chip as well. And just really fun. There's the flower, an Aussie flower. So that is Snuggle Pot and Cuddle Pie. Very cute. This one's Little Ragged Blossom. So, so cute. This one had a page that I completely missed to put in there, so I just added that there for an extra page. Really cute. So I think this one is my favorite one of the three. Because I just think Little Ragged Blossom, she's so sweet and I love this picture here. The wise old kookaburra teaching and telling stories to the little gum nut babies because kookaburra is one of my favorite birds. And cute little possums. When I lived in Melbourne, there were possums everywhere. <laughs> You'd hear them on the roof. I love this. This is so cute too. All right, and then little Obelia, the underwater one. And they all come with the book library card because I thought that works well with the book theme. You can write your name there. How sweet is that too? So adorable. Stamp tag, kangaroo, underwater pages. And how cute. <laughs> yeah, I loved all those middle pages. Another envelope. And really gorgeous colour illustrations, the paint chip. And yeah, that is the journal. And hope that you guys really enjoyed this flip through. I love that image there, it's so pretty. And now I will go ahead and package these up and send them to their new homes. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and let me know which one's your favourite too and if you know the book. <laughs> Bye guys! Willow Band Journals exist to bring light and life into people's lives through creativity, beauty, story and inspiration. A big extra special thank you to my beautiful patrons who supported me in August. This channel is what it is because of you and your support means the world to me and I just can't thank you guys enough. If you would like to become a patron and get access to printables, videos, first preference for my journals, behind the scenes looks and personal updates, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description box below. If you want to support my channel through a donation, there is also a link to my tip jar in the description box. And if you would like to take one of my journaling courses, you can be part of the Anchor or Willow Journal course anytime in September. The links to the course websites are down below too. May you journal your life because your stories matter.